Hey guys, Liz Gertz here with My Messy Desk to talk you through a tutorial on how to do the Hello Spring DIY painting kit. So first off, I'm just going to tell you what you're going to get in your kit. Um, you will get an adhesive vinyl stencil. I have not yet weeded. I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, you will get transfer tape, a couple of these um, craft sticks, which are great for mixing paint or uh, um, burnishing your vinyl. You'll get a little spongy thing. This is great for adding a little bit of texture or distressing to your canvas. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. And then you'll get a variety of sponge brushes uh, to use to pounce the paint onto your canvas through the stencil. You'll get your canvas. I'm working on an eight by 10, but the kit does come with an 11 by 14. Um, and then you'll also get a variety of paint colors. The kit includes up to five colors that are at your choice. The um, original canvas had some really bright colors on it, um, greens and pinks and yellows and blues and some um, of my favorite turquoise, but I'm gonna go with something a little more neutral today and then just add a pop of color in those little berries. So first off, I'm gonna use my gray paint to, um, so you can see the sponge has some rough edges and that's what we're gonna use to kind of pick up a little bit of paint on there. And then we're just gonna swipe it really quick all along the canvas. And you can use the back end to pick up if it's gotten a little too dark. I'm gonna go down here on the bottom. A little bit more over here. Brush off a little bit of that where it's a little darker. Just gonna give it a little bit of texture ahead of the design. All right, and there you have it. So, key tip here is to make sure any background color that you put on a canvas is completely dry before you put down your stencil. So I'm gonna set that aside while it dries and I'm going to show you how we do the weeding on your stencil. So as you can see, um, the shape is cut through the vinyl and then it's pretty easy. We're just going to fold the vinyl and pick up an edge of the design and then lift it up from the canvas nice and slow so you can see um, if something is being a little bit tricky. So then we're gonna go around the edges and lift this up nice and gently. If you tear a little bit um, of the design itself, that's okay. You just wanna make sure that the negative space stays intact behind your design. So we're lifting. And like I said, this is a process called weeding. And I'm taking up the actual design. If you were applying vinyl that was not a stencil, you would weed up the negative space. But that's the space that we need to create a stencil for ourselves now. So we're just slowly working back and forth, making sure that the design peels up nicely. So there's the background. And then the letters are a little bit more tedious. Um, just wanna make sure that the small pieces inside the G stay down. And then we'll come back in a little bit and we'll get that dot over the eye picked up as well. There's a tiny little space inside the R I'm not terribly concerned if it stays put or not. And there you can see that little bit started to peel up. So you just kind of go nice and slow. Now the hello portion, it will be each letter peels up individually. You're not going to get it to peel up like the spring because they're not connected. So let's get that dot over the eye. Oh, nope, that's an L. 
All right. There we go. There's the dot over the I. Then we're gonna get this O, leaving the middle portion of the O down. There we go. So there's an L in there. H. Uh -huh. And the E. All right, so now your stencil is completely weeded. And the next thing you're gonna do is use your transfer tape, or I like to use contact paper. It's a little more economical. Um, and you're going to separate the backing from the sticky side. can be a little tricky to find that sticky edge. <laughs> like I said, it can be a little tricky. Sometimes you have to try another corner. I think I've got it now. All right. So carefully, you're gonna peel back the two parts, the backing and the sticky side. You don't want to let the sticky side get stuck to itself. So just be aware of that. If you're working together in a group, um, this could be considered a team effort as well. So now you're gonna lay your transfer tape down right over your stencil. I didn't get mine 100% straight on, but that is okay. And then you'll use your craft stick to burnish. And a little piece of hot glue under there to burnish all over. And you can see it sort of changes the color of the transfer tape, it becomes more blue. So all over the edges, making sure particularly those spaces, those little tiny pieces in the middles of the letters get burnished really well so the transfer tape will pick it up. Now that that is attached, let's check our paper, check our canvas. Um, you know, I just did a really light coat, so I think it is ready to go. So because my transfer tape is a little smaller than my um, vinyl, I'm going to start to peel up with the vinyl edge. You could cut this to fit the transfer tape and that would be fine too. So now we're just going to peel up and the great part of this is that the transfer tape picks up the whole design in one piece and makes it way easier to set down. See how that peels up nicely? You wanna go real slow and make sure that all the vinyl is getting picked up by the transfer tape. Now it looks like the middle of my O has a bit of a problem. You can see how it's white. It looks like the backing of the vinyl stuck to the vinyl. So if that happens, you'll notice it's still got that white part. It's the backing of the vinyl. Just go back in and peel that up. Now you're gonna set your stencil down right where you want it in the middle of your canvas the best that you can. And you can peek through the edges um, to make sure you're on the vinyl. You see I've got about a finger's width there before the edge, about a finger's width there, there. And then if you fold it down. So I'm gonna say that is pretty close. Again, you're gonna take your craft stick and you're going to burnish your vinyl down onto your canvas. If you're more of a perfectionist, I do recommend cutting the vinyl to the shape of the transfer tape because it is uh, fit to your canvas better. You'll be able to see what you're after. So again, really, really focus on all these edges. Okay, you want the edges to stick down really, really well because that is what's gonna keep paint from going where you don't want it to go. All right, I 
think we're okay for now. So next thing you're gonna do is peel up the transfer tape. Oh, mine stuck to my paper. Yeah, I didn't tell you at the beginning, but you definitely wanna cover your work surface just in case. So now we're gonna peel up the transfer tape from a corner. I like to start working at the top right corner and peel downward at a 45 degree angle, keeping my hand close to the canvas. And you're gonna do this really slowly once again because you wanna keep an eye on that edge and make sure that all those little parts of the vinyl, see how this started to pull up here. You just can use your burnishing tool or your nail to hold those down as you pull away. So this is really slowly here, peeling away really slowly so you can catch any of those edges or all of those edges, as it seems. If it's being really pesky, you might wanna go back over the top of the transfer tape. Now we've got our stencil down. We're gonna go back over all these edges again with our craft stick or burnishing tool, whatever you want to call it. And you really wanna make sure these edges are down nicely. The reason we pull slowly is because you don't want to rip the stencil. Then you get kind of bubbles or jagged edges sometimes. So you pull back really carefully and make sure everything's sticking down. Now you're gonna go over all the edges here careful not to pull them up like I just did. So then I kind of like to run my hand across it and make sure there's nowhere. You can kind of feel it better than you can see it. Um, any kind of jaggedness that might indicate that, a set, that an edge isn't completely stuck. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is use your um, pouncing tools. You'll get enough for each color. Um, I'm gonna do the green first and I'm gonna be kind of careful as I go around you don't want to get a lot of paint. You can always add more, but you can't really take it away. I'm going to be really careful and I'm going to just go up and down. So in this part, it's just an up and down motion because if there are some edges of the vinyl that aren't completely sealed, uh, the paint, you're not going to force paint underneath it. So I'm also being really careful as I go around to try and keep paint off of what are those cute little berries there in the stencil? So we're just getting the leaves and the vines right now with this up and down motion. It's a little bit bleeds over, it's okay. You can use the edge to kind of swipe off. Okay, we've got a lot of leaves, I can go a little faster.
And you'll be able to tell if your paint's not thick enough, you'll be able to still see some of the stencil through, the whiteness of the stencil. But you definitely don't want to go on too thick, so it's better to go back with a second coat a little later. All right, next I'm gonna do the words. I'm gonna do both of those in black today. You see how I put some of that extra paint there on the stencil itself. to the edge of that green. That looks like I got pretty good coverage with the first coat. Again, just pouncing up and down. All right. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead with the pink on these little berries here. And I'm just trying to go once so I don't really mix in the green with the pink. I'll try and turn that on an edge there so I don't get into the black. And I see a spot that needs a little more green here in a couple of places. So we'll come back with that in a minute. You want to be really careful not to get that pink over top of anywhere that you had black. So I'm just going to check it. Make sure I've got good coverage everywhere with all the colors. Get right up to that pink without going over. I think I'm happy with it. Okay, now comes the waiting. All right, guys, we are back. Now, I've never been known for being super patient, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, peel up my stencil right now. The paint is probably not completely dry. You may want to wait a little longer because this part can get a little messy. And you really don't want to smear wet paint across your canvas with the stencil. So we're going to peel it up pretty slowly here and try not to fold it back onto the rest of our design that we want to keep. So make sure, because that does have wet paint on it, now make sure you set it aside. These are a couple of tools that I use, a craft knife, uh, a weeding tool. You could also use a toothpick for this portion, which um, that you, I'm just assuming that you all have hanging around your house. So now we're gonna have to go in here and pick up the rest of these small bits. And you'll kind of see where the edges are. Just start lifting it up. But what you don't want to do here is force paint under your stencil with your tool. So just be really careful with this portion. Also, if your paint is still wet like mine, don't stick your hand in it. All right, there we go. A lot of times once you get an edge started, it makes everything go that much smoother. And see there, I stuck my hand in it. <laughs> we can go back a little later with some white paint and touch that up though. All right. 
right, coming along nice. So you'll notice there are still some sections that need weeding right here in the middle of the O. We'll need to pull up. The bottom of this S. Inside of this G. Oh. And I can still see a little bit of blue vinyl here. So you're just kind of picking along the edge till you find a part that can peel up. to peel up right in here and probably one over here yep all right I think that got it all okay all right and now since I did mess that little bit up there with the green I think I'm gonna give my edges just a little bit of green What may have started out looking like a mistake. Look how we can turn that around. Just like God does for us. And now my little mistake looks intentional. All right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this Hello Spring DIY painting kit tutorial. Um, just a reminder that if you do return the, um, really it's just the brushes from this kit. Uh, that you can return. You will get a 10% discount on your next purchase from My Messy Desk. You can wash them and stick them through the mail slot for me. That would be fantastic. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you at My Messy Desk soon.